On Sunday's Reliable Sources, host Brian Stelter and his guests discussed at great length the topic of Fox News, from the DNC debates to the general position of the network with regard to the Trump administration. It was not a flattering critique.I end the above clip, Stelter asked Democratic strategist Tara Dowdell the most basic question about the DNC excluding Fox News from the debates, why shouldn't they? Building off a point made by Media Matters President Angelo Carrison, Stelter said that Fox has been emphasizing its news division. My view is, yeah they have a news division. It's relatively small compared to the huge opinion division which has the highest rated shows," said Stelter. Both exist. But it's getting really uncomfortable for both to exist in that same body. Dottie turned to Dowdell and asked, why would Democrats have even considered going on Fox in the first place? Well I think first of all, began Dowdell, but Stelter interrupted to be more specific. For a debate, I mean, he said. Well, I think that Democrats want to attract as many people as possible, so I think that's why it might have been under consideration, said Dowdell. But here's the reality Democrats have not been participating or having Fox News as a media partner in debates prior to this decision this time around. It should not be surprising, and it should not be the least bit controversial that Democrats made this decision. It is a rational decision based on facts and a cold hard reality, she added. Political analyst Jeff Greenfield weighed in with a different point of view, saying that the DNC is missing a major opportunity to have uninterrupted airtime to call out of Fox. He also suggested they're missing out appealing to voters that are potentially their own base. There was some back and forth over that idea, with Dowdell taking the stance of the further left side of the party, that Fox's audience isn't theirs, and Greenfield arguing that Democrats are furthering errors they are already making in excluding parts of their own potential voters for 2020.